minus plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five and plus six. Now coming to the question. Carry it on the then minus two. So minus two. After that four is there. Four and six. Six zero minus six. Now, if I am writing both integers in the ascending class, ascending class at the even integer. So, now all these minus x is smaller, after that minus 2 is smaller, after that 0 is smaller, after that 4 is smaller, after that 6 is smaller. So, just observe this ascending class, how we are going to just observe the number. So, number line, on the number line, let's say all the values of the more than the left side. So, like this, and even the other side, the integer can be number one. Next, represent the following integer using number one. It will be following and the number one. Okay, first one, I am taking it. 5 plus half minus 2. And second one, so 5 plus and third one, seven minus two, four one, minus two minus half minus one, and this one minus three into minus five, then three into plus five. And this one minus two into minus three. Okay, like this, I have given some of the questions. Now, how we need to represent the number nine? So, in case I have used as addition of integers using the number nine, subtraction of integers using the number nine, and multiplication of integers using the number nine. So, just a recalling all day. Now, observe the first question. So first problem, 5 plus half minus 2, 0, plus 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 2. Now 0. So first integer is 5, that means 0 to 5. Plus half minus, minus, minus in the sense of negative sign. Already I told you, when we are adding negative integer, we have to from left side of the number. So, negative integer and not. Left side we have to move by that means. That is two steps. So, three. So, 5 plus half minus 2 is equal to plus 3. Okay, then coming to the second problem. 5 plus 7. Minus 1. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four was the value was five, zero to five. Plus seven, plus is nothing but right side we have to move by seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is the answer? Two. And the seven is equal to two. Now seven minus two. Zero minus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So first of all, zero to seven because first number was seven. So zero to seven minus that means left side by two steps. One. Third minus three is five. Okay. Then coming to the fourth problem. Group 
the result will not improve. That is, A plus B is equal to B plus A. A and B belongs to integers. Okay? Now we will check with the example. So minus 2 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus of minus 2 is equal to See, minus 2 plus 5 is nothing but the only daily value is possible. So, final is true. That is nothing but plus 2. Even here also, plus 5 and minus 2. So, subtraction. Final is true is equal to 3. In both the cases, we are getting plus 3 as the answer. So, this is suitable. Okay? And coming to the next one, we are also submitted in the other thing under multiplication. First, we will get the instead of addition, we need to perform multiplication by changing the order of two numbers. So, A into B is equal to B into A. And A and B both are belongs to integers. Now, check with the example 3 into minus 5. Is equal to how much? 3 times of 15. No? And because of minus, minus 15. Okay? And minus 5 I am writing in the first place and 3 in the next place. So 5 plus 15 minus 2 plus minus. In both these cases, we are getting the result as minus 15. So it is also suitable. Coming to the subtraction, A minus B must be equal to B minus B. According to the commutative problem. But whether it is possible or not, we will check. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Now change the order of this to 2. 5 minus 7. That is minus 2. So 2 is not equal to minus 2. So commutative property is not suitable. See, that's why I am telling all the properties for addition and multiplication are possible. Whereas for subtraction, only global property is satisfied, remaining any property will not satisfy. So you take some more examples and check whether those are possible or not. Okay, now coming to the third one. Associated property. So, associative property is created by changing the order of the three integers if we are performing addition. There is no change in the result. That means A plus B plus C. First, that is the removing of the and C. That means we need to finish this operation first. So, even though that will be correct, when we are changing the order. Okay. So, if you have any doubt, check with the example. So for multiplication also, instead of addition, we will use the index. And for subtraction, it is not suitable. Not suitable, and for addition also not suitable. It is what is the global property not suitable, committed property not suitable, and associated property also not suitable. And coming to the other property, this will be property. So these are the main properties which is the number for any type of numbers. So first we have studied them for all numbers in our, in our previous class. Now we are uh, talking about integers and further classes we are going to learn for the same properties for rational numbers, real numbers, like this. Now coming to the next property, distributive property. So distributive property, the name itself, the value distributed over the other numbers. Means here this property states that A is distributed over B and C. That is, A is distributed over A, uh, B, and over like C. A into B plus A into C over addition. Here we are using addition. So simply we will write A into B plus C is equal to A B plus C. Okay? And in another case, it is distributed over subtraction of A B minus C. A into B minus C is equal to A B minus C. First of all, I have one question. Twenty into fifty plus two. Like this, I have one question. In this case, first of all, twenty into fifty two or fifty into I have. In this case, I can finish this, uh, I can do this problem in two methods. And this, this method I can represent in the form of addition as well as subtraction. So what I am doing now, 20 into first I am splitting by using addition, 50 plus 2. Now it is in the form of A into B plus C. So use A into B plus A into C. So that is nothing but 2 
I have minus y mod of minus y. So we need to be this one as mod of minus y. Otherwise, the new value of minus y. Otherwise, modulus of minus y. Okay. What we have to write here? What is the answer? Five. Just we need to consider its numerical value. We should not take it as size. Okay. And what is the altitude of minus y? Plus y. So suppose what is the absolute value of plus y? Five volt. But what is the altitude of plus y? Minus. So that is the difference between altitude and the absolute value. So we need to write these points where we are calling the dots. Now coming to the next one. Multiplicative arithmetic and multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative identity. So I have said that all you if you are multiplying that number, we need to get the same result. Okay, seven into the other we will get seven only as this. If I multiply it with zero, seven into zero, zero as this. Seven into one, I get seven. Seven into two, I get fourteen. I am not getting the same result. If for eight, I am multiplying with one. Then only I will get the same number as this. If for if I multiply any other number rather than one. I will not get the same number as the result. Okay, so that's why one is called multiplicative arithmetic element for integers. Now coming to the multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative inverse. So here, multiplicative inverse is also called as reciprocal. See, for suppose take two by. What is the multiplicative inverse of two? Multiplicative inverse of positive number is positive only, and uh, negative number negative value only. There is additive inverse. So positive number we will get the additive inverse as negative. For negative number we will get the additive inverse as positive. Coming to the multiplicative inverse, if the product of two numbers is equal to one, then those two numbers are said to be additive. Multiplicative inverse is otherwise reciprocal. So what do I want? Which number I need to multiply to get the result as one? That is nothing but two by one. That is its reciprocal. Take its reverse value, reverse fraction number. That is one by two by one. Okay, product of these two numbers is equal to one. That's why two by one and one by two both are said to be additive inverses or multiplicative inverses together. Otherwise, the reciprocal is for each other. Okay, this is about different properties. Whatever we have discussed. And yesterday we have did some statement problems on integers. So already yesterday only we have finished. So I think we don't need to revise this. So completely whatever topics are there in this chapter we have finished. Now one of the example for statement problem I will show you again. Then you will understand. Okay, now coming to the uh, one of the question, one of the example. See the word problem I am giving. The merchant the merchant and selling rice and selling rice in the drop shop in the drop shop Not for 
Okay, like this question we have did yesterday also. Okay, that is write this in pairs and place in pairs yesterday. Now, this is my first question. First, let us finish the first problem. Then, afterwards, drop it. Let the drop it now, last permission they gave. So, that will make sure we will continue. I'm sorry. So, according to the question part, I will give it now. The selling emergent and selling rice in the profit are so they will be so bad of customers. If he is selling the basket, he has done, he is getting the first of the rules. If he is selling the non basket, he has done, he is getting the five piece last. If he is selling the basket, he is getting the first of it. If he is selling the non basket, he is getting the last of the five. So that is the way to make this. Even profit is getting by selling.
Thank you.